petrol prices are about to touch sky but have you noticed that before when the petrol was way more cheaper you were filling the same amount and now that the petrol prices are increased you are filling your tanks with the same amount of petrol and in the near future if petrol prices even touch 200 you will still feel the same amount of liters in your tank because it is a basic necessity so welcome everybody today we are talking about monopoly in indian market Now let us understand the price elasticity of demand. Usually what happens is that if the demand is increasing, the price is also increasing with the demand. If the demand is decreasing, the price is also decreased. But in our case, petrol prices are increasing, but the demand is same. It is not increasing or decreasing. This only happens if the product is a basic necessity. Like in our case, petrol is a basic necessity for every human being on this planet. Now let's come back to monopoly. When can we consider an ecosystem as a monopoly ecosystem? When there is only one company who regulates the quality and also the price of the product, then we can say that it's a clear monopoly. In this case, due to the lack of alternatives, customers have to pay way more as compared to the real price of the product or also has to suffer a bad product. Now, let us think that which is the product or a service which is moving towards monopoly and also it's a basic necessity. Think about it and your answer is right. The internet or we can say mobile data. Jio has revolutionized the Indian market by reducing the data prices at a such a low level that competitions are being killed like anything. Jio is totally responsible for spreading internet in the tier 1 and tier 2 cities of India and if this continues, Jio will be the largest and the only telecom operator in our country. Recently you might have seen that companies like Google and Facebook have invested loads of money in Jio and these both companies Google and Facebook have been fined a huge amount in Euro for malpracticing. And we also have to consider the pace wherein the Jio is spreading their business in India. They are launching various products like Jio Mart, Jio Fiber also have their 400 million Jio SIM cards and with this data and with this power, they can totally disrupt the telecom sector. To run an internet ecosystem, there are three necessary things. First is ISP, second is hosting and search engine, and third is connecting people on the internet. Now let me think the best companies who provide these services. First is ISP. Jio is the biggest ISP in the country. ISP means internet service provider. Second is search engine. As we all know, Google is the largest search engine in the world. Third is connecting people on the internet. We all know Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp are the largest social media platforms in the country and in the world. India has the cheapest internet all over the world and we also have to consider that our currency is very much low as compared to the other countries but if we compare currency wise india has the cheapest internet all over the world here 1 gb of data only costs 6 rupees and in zimbabwe or countries like china germany it's over 1000 rupees so let me ask this question can ambani's and mittals who are owner of jio and airtel respectively can they become richest in the country by providing data at such a low prices and the answer is no. Internet prices will surely increase in the near future in India and I can say this with so much confidence because there are three major reasons. There was a news last year that Airtel wants to increase their price to 100 rupees per GB in order to stay profitable in the market. The article said that the founder Sunil Mittal asked the subscribers to prepare to pay a lot more for the data. And we also can't forget the matter of fact that these telecom operators have to pay spectrum fees. This year Airtel spent around 18,000 crore and Jio spent around 96,000 crore in buying the AGR spectrum which is very necessary for 4G communications. The spectrum meets range of frequencies which telecom operators have to buy from government because government have rights on every natural resource of our country and these telecom frequencies come under natural resources. 
so every year telecom operators buy a certain amount of frequency which we call spectrum and they pay huge amount and day by day the spectrum fees are increasing so we can surely see a hike in the prices of data in our country jio has already started to increase their price and will continue to increase their price because now the demand is inelastic of the price if the price of the internet is increased to 100 rupees per gb people will recharge with the same amount because it is now a basic necessity internet is a basic necessity in 2021 now let us understand all the strategies which geo implemented to create this monopoly effect and to disrupt the telecom sector first is they created entry barrier they created a no brainer offer which will transfer all the customers from the other telecom sector to geo and that's what happened in 2016, Jio came with free internet and all the customers of Idea, Vodafone and Airtel converted their SIM cards to Jio. So first is they created an entry barrier also called as no-brainer offer which would give them a sufficient amount of customers which converted from Airtel, Idea, Vodafone to Jio. The second method which Jio uses to acquire more and more customers is that their affordable services. I compared on the internet the prices of 1.5 GB data per day and there were same for airtel and vodafone but it was way cheaper for geo if any new customer wants to buy a new sim card he will check prices of both these platforms and he will find that geo provides very affordable services and he is more likely to buy a geo sim card rather than airtel and vodafone now let us understand the blue ocean theory in order to create a monopoly your product or service needs to be in the blue ocean now what is this blue ocean and red ocean let us understand this with this picture as you can see in the red ocean there are so many ships and they are constantly fighting and they are pricing their products competitively but in the blue ocean there is only one ship and it's a clear dominating market and they are controlling the price they are controlling the quality of the product because there are no other options so the first and important fact to create a monopoly is that your product or services needs to be in the blue ocean means there shouldn't be much competition and you need to be a ruler in that product or service range Now let us understand the disadvantages of monopoly. The first is price and the quality of the product is only decided by a single company. The second is that the new company can't enter the market. As we know the famous example of Snapdeal, Amazon and Flipkart. The Flipkart and Amazon were the ruler of e-commerce in India. When Snapdeal entered the market, they couldn't find much customers because all the customers were going towards Flipkart and Amazon because they were rulers in the market. But if there is a monopoly, a new company or a third company cannot enter this market segment. The third disadvantage of monopoly is that if there is only one company and lack of alternatives, the company's whole and sole purpose will be on profit making. In 2016, there were more than 15 telecom companies. Here you can see all the logos of these companies. And now in 2021, there are only three major companies. All the other telecom companies have been into loss and there are only three profit making companies or i should not say profit making there are only three companies who have survived the geo hammer which are airtel vodafone and geo and if this continues geo will be the only internet service provider in our country and it will be a monopoly geo can price their services at any cost and because there is only one company who is providing internet we will have no other option to get a geo sim card and pay the hell amount of price which they are asking now how we can tackle this monopoly ecosystem first is that government should make separate rules for uh, businesses who have turned into monopoly such as last year when amazon and flipkart were constantly fighting and amazon was ruling the market our government made a rule that foreign companies cannot set up inventories in our country and that's why amazon made a huge loss and uh, that's why regional companies like Geomart and other telecom companies, small small companies, Snapdeal and all are in the market because of this. So guys that was the video. I hope you have liked it. Please comment down your thoughts on the same. If you need this uh, business uh, related videos, I really enjoy doing it the most. So if you guys enjoy it, I will make such more content related to business. And yeah, that was the video. Please subscribe to my channel for amazing tech and explanatory informative videos and you know the drill. Share the video with your friends and family members and 
please share this video because i have put a lot of efforts in making this video as you can see in the editing style scripting uh, finding content and there is lot uh, which goes in making this uh, videos for you and i don't really get much from youtube money so please uh, if you want to support me please share my content on facebook instagram and whatsapp stories lastly like the video and this is jain signing off i will catch you guys in the next one until then bye bye